Okay, here's another parametric equation question. Figure one shows a curve with the following parametric equations where t is bigger than or equal to zero and a is a positive constant. Okay, so this here is my curve. Remember, it's a curve, it's not the straight line, it tells you it's the curve. So this here is my curve. Okay, and I've got some other straight line going on here um, and those two intersect, it looks like at the point A, but that's to do with part B. We're asked to find the gradient or dy of dx in terms of t for part A, then the curve meets the x-axis at the origin here and at another point A. The tangent to the curve at A meets the y-axis at B. Uh, show that the area of the triangle OAB is equal to A squared. So this is a slightly different style question. Let's give it a go anyway. So for part A, what we're using, clearly we're using dy by dx is dy by dt multiplied, uh, sorry, divided by dx by dt. So let's work out each of these separately. y is equal to at1 subtract t. So I'm going to expand that as at subtract at squared. And dy by dt, forgetting about a, a is just a number, it's not a variable, it's a constant, it's not a parameter, okay? It's going to be equal to a subtract 2at. Okay? And let's do the same with x. x is equal to a root t, which is t to the half. And differentiating this, dx by dt is going to be a half a t to the minus a half, which I can write that as a half a 1 over t to the half or 1 over root t, and which I can even simplify this as the easiest way is writing that as a over 2 root t. Okay, so therefore dy by dx is going to be this, which is a, I'm going to factorise out the a here, a, 1 subtract 2t. Okay, divided by this, which is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, the a's then cancel. You can see why I factorise the a here. And I'm going to get myself 1 subtract 2t over 2. Uh, sorry, one, uh, sorry, 1 subtract 2t multiplied by, so I'm going to get uh, 2 root t multiplied by 1 subtract 2t. And that is my dy by dx, which I was asked for, for three marks at the start. So let's write down our dy by dx. The dy by dx I worked out was equal to 2 root t, 1 subtract 2t. Okay, so I'm going to rub this stuff out now and let's try and do part b. Okay, now the curve meets the x-axis at the origin, okay? So what we can say is at a, at a, what is true? Well, certainly y is equal to zero. So we can put y zero into the parametric equation, so we can solve zero is equal to at1 subtract t. Now we are told that a is bigger than zero, it's a positive constant. So we can divide both sides by a and write that zero is therefore t1 subtract t. So either t is zero or t equals one. Now clearly here, t must be 0 here, and here it must be where t is equal to 1. Okay? Right, so we've got t as 1 at this point here, right? And we also, we're told about the tangent to the curve meets the y-axis at point B. Okay, so let's find the equation of the tangent. So, we know dy by dx, so what is dy by dx when t is equal to 1? Well, it's 2 root 1, 1 subtract 2 times 1, and which is going to be 2 multiplied by uh, negative 1, which is negative 2. So the gradient of this, the m of this, is going to be negative 2. And we know a point on the line, we know at that point there that uh, y is equal to 0, and the x value, when you put t as 1, is going to be equal to a. Okay? When you put 
t is equal to 1 there, you're going to get a. So therefore, um, I can write out point A just to make that clear. At A, the coordinates are A0 when T equals 1. So now we can write the equation Y minus Y1 is MX minus X1. So therefore, Y subtract 0 is equal to negative 2X subtract A. So Y is equal to negative 2X plus 2A. Okay, now to find this coordinate here, at this point here, x equals 0, right? So at b, x equals 0, and y is therefore equal to 2a. So therefore, with this triangle, if we're trying to work out the area of this triangle, this height here is therefore 2a. This width here is uh, clearly a. So the area of the triangle is half the base times the height, which is a half times a times 2a, which is clearly a squared. And that's exactly what we need in the question. And we're done.